pretty early in the game. Granted, it wasn't from behind the arc, just a couple of you know longer twos, and we saw you start to see the stretch out towards the corner, maybe longer. When you get to a rhythm like that, and, and just maybe you can you can answer this question too. When you get to a rhythm like that, how much it, how much easier is it not only to find shots for yourself, but find shots for your teammates as well? Oh, it, it's it's easy because um, you're not worried about anything. You're you feel comfortable. You just feel like you you got it no matter what. And and I think you could. You, you could like actually see that throughout the game from like everyone. Everyone was very comfortable today with what they were doing and um, yeah, and, and I think that's where it came from. You can you, you tell you were seeing some really good lanes as far as getting passes to teammates and they were turning those into buckets. When, when you're on that kind of role that you were on, especially in the second half, but still being able to see other open teammates, how hard is it to try to fight that urge, knowing you got that rhythm, knowing you might have some opportunities, but you got other people have some open shots also. I mean, yeah, it's always hard, so I always have to like have some, how to say, like some standards where I have to score, where I have to find open people and attack, kick out, and of course we have similar other players with me that help me with that. So it's pretty much, it takes so much energy, you know, and then I also have to go back to defense, and so I sometimes like and make some more mistakes in defense. So I'm always trying to give myself more in defense, but it helps a lot when you have more players that see the court and can also make play, plays for others. Dan talked about the rebounding effort and just everybody getting involved, also defensively too. But from a rebounding standpoint, how important was it to get positioning on that team, knowing how good they are? at getting both offensive and defensive rebounds. It looks like every time I looked in, there were at least three white jerseys inside the paint. How important was that to get that position? Um, that was like our, one of our biggest focuses, not only because of Dayton, but because of <coughs> where we were um, rebounding wise and like coming off of UMass um, and how we let them get offensive rebound after offensive rebound. Um, <coughs> it was definitely a, a bigger focus to, today and we I think we responded well and, and um, showed that we can do it, and now it's just we have to build on it. A lot of energy in the defensive end, too. You got a steal that came back the other way. Lyon got one. Libby had a handful. Halley got involved. It seems like every time we turned around, another body was on the floor. A lot of intensity there. Just how big is that? How infectious is it to spread around with everybody else when you see it? I mean, this is how we should fight every game. And, of course, some players uh, are there from states. They always see Dayton as a big rivalry. So, you know, we kind of feel that way too. And it's so good where when uh, we do all these pieces where we give ourselves into stealing the balls, diving on the floor, rebounding, and they bring so much energy. So then it's way easier to play defense and way easier to play offense as well. It's like um, when someone dives, you're going to do it too. It's uh, it takes one person to start it, and then everyone else is going to do it. And I think just that, that person show, uh, giving you the feeling. Yes, so you just like yeah. fail. Like, you you could definitely see it on that one possession where the ball was just flying, 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 and then well, they ended up with it. But everyone was on the ground at one, one point or another. So, yeah. Yutsa, for you, Dan said that he challenged you, especially after the last game, responding from being on the bench. And he said that you had your two best practices, and it translated today. Just how has your mindset maybe changed throughout this season, and how have you grown this season mentally? I mean, every season is like kind of a new beginning, but then you just progress from season to season. And I just keep doing my thing and the one thing that I've been struggling this season is my shooting, my especially my 3%, three percent shoot shot from threes. And I've tried everything. Shooting and everything, but it's still not going in. But every game I keep telling myself it's gonna go in. It's gonna go in. It doesn't happen. So I just don't back down. I keep telling myself that and I believe that it's gonna happen and it feels so nice that I made probably all the threes that I well, I made all the threes that I missed the previous game so that's one side but then it feels great we have teammates and when we fight for each other like that and I mean I like challenges so I always you know try to go stronger
Kadri, you had nine threes the entire season made before today, and you went you went three for three today. Just yeah. what allowed you what allowed you to see that, and just how comfortable will this allow you maybe to shoot the three and give yourself more of a green light, knowing it might fall. I mean, the three pointers for our whole team have been a struggle this year, and we've we've been a very good three pointing three point shooting team, and this year it hasn't really gone that way for us. So for me. Every game, I always tell myself, take one three, um, see how it feels. If it doesn't feel like it's there, don't force it. And today, I made the first one, so I'm like, okay, well, I can take a second one. And then the third one kind of just fell in my hands. I was like, oh, I'm open, so I'm going to shoot it. So I didn't know I was three for three. But uh, yeah, it definitely gives some confidence for me for, for like shooting outside more than I've had in uh, the past couple of games. You guys have had post touches this season, some t- sometimes a little bit late where the ball gets intercepted. It seemed like every post touch today had a purpose. Either the offense opened up or there was a one-on-one matchup where you had the opportunity. Just Did you see that as well? And how maybe did that help not just open up the offense but give posts to such as your self-confidence? I think our post players really um, played hard against them today. And uh, um, we were like prepared to battle hard against them and Dayton has always been a very physical team so we knew that the more physical team will win today so our post players were ready and and I really felt like it was just like once like we got it going it was just a feeling like okay like we got it now like we know where we're at and, and right now we're the most more physical team so I think that's where it came from. Given that it's been a season of up and downs, how do you keep that intensity up towards where it was today and not allow the dip that maybe you guys have had at various stages this season? I mean, I'm sure we're going to, I mean, I hope we don't. But it's just a sport that you always have some back downs and you cannot just let that impact you. So every time we have some let downs, we always try to figure out what the problem is so we can fix some things, do better. So in order for us to be more consistent, so wins like this helps us so much. And it's just like a relief that we worked so hard and we finally, everything was for me, we played 40 minutes straight and everything was great. So we just have to keep doing the same thing and we're gonna probably have some adversity, (coughs) but we just have to keep going. I think uh, now what it takes is just (laughs) for us, every single person on our team, one through 16 plus the staff, to just keep pushing. And, and it's um, it's just gonna be, it's gonna take me telling you to like, hey, go a little harder, and you to telling me that, and, and then uh, maybe one of our walk-ons telling us that. It, it has to be one through 16 and we have to be focused because what you saw today, that's what we're supposed to do. Like that's, that's the expectation. Like we played a great game um, and I think that's our expectation, so now we just got to keep working for it because we proved that we can do it. As players, how much accountability with this season? Obviously, sometimes the Coach Dan's press conferences have been critical of you guys as players. Just How do you just balance just making sure you worry about yourselves and maybe go through the peaks and valleys and kind of let the chips fall where they may instead of saying, oh, I shouldn't be here, or, I'm going to miss this shot, I'm not going to try this one again? It takes a lot of team support. Uh, I mean, coaches are going to be critical, especially when there's problems to fix, when there's things to um, like adjust, maybe. So I think everyone knows that coaches are going to be critical because they want to win too. So it just takes us being a team and like just supporting us because at one point or another, someone has been in that spot. So it's it's just. We just want to be supportive of each other and, and uh, help us help us through and help us find the solutions and maybe the adjustments that need to be made. Thank you.